today's word vitamin is all about being gentle. It's such a beautiful word and a subtle word that so easily can get bypassed when it requires real wisdom and discernment to be a gentle woman or a gentle man. When we have a look at conflict, when people are unkind, when unpredictable events happen or problems emerge in our day that we didn't plan for. Sometimes we can be gentle with, with other people and more often than not most of us that choose to build quality relationships try and be gentle. The real discipline comes in being gentle with ourselves. We might find that we say a kind word to a colleague or our child or our our loved one but might just be privately beating ourselves up for even feeling frustrated, impatient, annoyed, whatever. Being gentle with ourselves when we need to rest, when we're hungry, when we're angry, when we're sad, when we're lonely, that is when we need it the most. And some people, you know, often dismiss gentleness is weakness and, and I've written in today's word vitamin if you want to just explore this word for yourself a bit more that weak people make us feel unsafe you know being withdrawn and timid is not what being gentle is all about being fiercely gentle is showing up being emotionally present and intersecting head heart and body and coming together looking at facts feelings and actions what needs to 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 happen in moving forward and making progress and a gentle man and a gentle woman is someone who's exper experienced and emotionally fit at putting love before ego and being gentle hearted so today's word vitamin offers you the opportunity to reflect on how gentle you are with others if you are scoring yourself from zero to ten ten being gentle most of the, the time and five perhaps being gentle 50 percent of the time how would you rate yourself? And if I asked those close to you, how good you were at being gentle, where do you think that would rate you? And in your private relationship with yourself, when it comes to talking about yourself, you know, if you get something wrong or you've uh, dropped the ball or you've made a mistake, do you curse yourself and criticize yourself and abuse yourself? Or do you learn from it and move on and be gentle? I'll let you know when I've mastered that one. But uh, it's it's really worth having a good look at. And I hope you have a, are having a gentle day. I, um, I've given myself the afternoon off. I noticed my brain was starting to seize up and I'm tired today. So as a 53-year-old chook, I'm giving myself a gentle day. and going to go and put my feet up and make a cup of tea. I wish you a gentle day too. Lots of love. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.